Hello everyone, welcome back from Didi Seri Channel. Uh, today I will keep on explaining about how to tell the time. Uh, can you see the clocks? There are many clocks, right? Uh, Alright, uh, this side is a wall clock, but th uh, this is a land clock. Here too, a land clock, and here pocket watch, and grandfather clock, time clock, Crater clock, oh, there are many, right? I bet these all clocks are called analog clocks. Uh, they all based on twin numbers. Okay, today I will explain about the feature of that analog clocks. Uh, this clock looks like ads. Uh, we have face, right? Here, uh, it also has face. This is we call face. And another way we call dial. Uh, on its face, you will see twin numbers. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you will see uh, 12 at the top, and you will see 6 at the bottom, and you will see 3 on the right side, and 9 on the left side. Okay, now let's learn about its hands. Uh, it looks like ears. Uh, it has two hands, uh, but their hands are not the same side. One is short and one is long. This short hand is called our hand and this long hand is called minute hand. Uh, because uh, uh, short hand points to hours and long hand points to minutes. That's why. Uh, Sometimes you will see three hands. Uh, this long, uh, short hand is called our hand. This Long hand is minute hand. So how do was this thin and long hand? Uh, this is second hand. But this second hand is not much important to tell the time because it goes so fast and we cannot catch at it to tell the time. That's why if you know about our hand and minute hand, it is enough to tell the time. So, let's learn about our hand and mini hand. Okay, so have a look. How do our hand and mini hand moves? They move from left to right. Uh, this is we call clockwise direction. Uh, so, okay, have a look our hand. If the our hand points to a number, the time is in that hour. Uh, for example, if the hour hand points to 3, the time is in 3 hour. Uh, although you will see 20 numbers on its face, they are 24 hours a day. That's why this hour hand need to go to round to get one day. For minutes hand, if the minutes hand point to a number, we cannot say directly that number uh, for minutes. Uh, for example, if the minutes hand points to 3, it is not 3 minutes. It is 15 minutes. So, how can we know that? Okay, I will explain now. Okay, uh, can you see small lines here? There are many small lines on X face. These small lines represent two minutes, one line for one minute. So if you want to know how many minutes, uh, you need to count these small lines. For example, if you want, uh, if the minutes have point to two, uh, you need to count uh, here from starting point to two. This is starting point so i will write down zero zero and you need to count like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if the minutes and point to two that is not two minutes that is ten minutes but if we count like that all the time we will feel a little tired right so i will tell you the easy way so between two numbers, they are five minutes each. Here, have a look. I will count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They are five minutes each between two numbers. So if you want to know how many minutes you need to, uh, you can count five by five like that. 
here this is the starting point so i will write down zero zero and i will count five by five uh the hands move from left to right so i will go from left to right like that so zero five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five sixty so to get one round there are sixty minutes that 60 minutes equal one hour. Uh, it means if the minutes hand get one round, the hour hand will uh, show uh, to next number like that. All right. Um, so now we can know the minutes easily. If the minutes hand point to one, that is not one minute, that is five minutes. If the minutes hand point to two, that is ten minutes. And if the minutes hand point to ten, uh, that is 15 minutes like that you can know easily now so how about if the minutes and point between two numbers at the time so how will you will tell the minutes so don't worry you can keep on count like that yeah if the minutes and point do for example uh, this small line so you can count like that after five years six seven so if the minutes and point to this small line will be seven minutes. So you can count like that. Okay, so uh, I will uh, show you another example too. If the, if the minutes hand point to this small line, so how many minutes? So you need to keep on count, right? Uh, after 40, x 41. So if the minutes hand point to this small line will be 41 minutes. So, uh, do you clear now? Uh, now you know about um, how do the hands of the analog clock works. All right, how to tell the time by looking at the clock is I will tell you in next video. So let me start here. Everyone, thank you.